This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is a dominant negative mutation? Answer, a dominant negative mutation exerts a dominant effect, meaning that a heterozygote produces a non-functional altered protein that also prevents the normal gene product from functioning. An example of this is a single mutated P53 tumor suppressor gene that results in a protein that is able to bind DNA and block the wild type P53 from binding to the promoter. Question, can you give an example of a dominant negative mutation? Answer, one example of a dominant negative mutation is a single mutated p53 tumor suppressor gene that results in a protein that is able to bind dna and block the wild type p53 from binding to the promoter question what is linkage disequilibrium? Answer, linkage disequilibrium is the tendency for certain alleles to occur in close proximity on the same chromosome more or less often than expected by chance. It is measured in a population, not in a family, and often varies in different populations. Question, how is linkage disequilibrium measured? Answer, linkage disequilibrium is measured in a population, not in a family, and often varies in different populations. Question, can you give an example of how linkage disequilibrium can vary in different populations? Answer, yes, linkage disequilibrium can vary in different populations. For example, certain alleles that are linked together may be more common in one population than in another population. This can be due to differences in genetic history, migration patterns, or other factors that influence the distribution of alleles within a population. Question, is linkage disequilibrium unique to a family or is it measured in population? Answer, linkage disequilibrium is measured in a population and not in a family. It refers to the tendency for certain alleles to occur in close proximity on the same chromosome more or less often than expected by chance. Question, what are the causes of linkage disequilibrium? Answer, the causes of linkage disequilibrium can vary. It can be due to genetic drift, natural selection, demographic history, and non-random mating. Question, can you explain more about the relationship between dominant negative mutation and linkage disequilibrium? Answer, dominant negative mutation and linkage disequilibrium are two distinct genetic concepts. Dominant negative mutation refers to a specific type of genetic mutation that can prevent a normal protein from functioning. Linkage disequilibrium, on the other hand, refers to the tendency for certain alleles to occur in close proximity on the same chromosome more or less often than expected by chance. While they are not directly related, it's possible that a dominant negative mutation located in a region of linkage disequilibrium could influence the frequency of the alleles in that region in a population. Question how does dominant negative mutation affect the normal gene product? Answer, a dominant negative mutation produces a non-functional altered protein that also prevents the normal gene product from functioning. It exerts a dominant effect, meaning that a heterozygote with the mutation will produce enough non-functional protein to prevent the normal protein from working. This can result in a loss of function of the normal protein, leading to disease or other negative effects. Question, how does linkage disequilibrium affect genetic variation? Answer, linkage disequilibrium can affect genetic variation within a population. If certain alleles tend to occur together more often than expected by chance, it can lead to a reduction in the overall genetic diversity in that region of the chromosome. This can affect the ability of the population to adapt to changing environmental conditions and can also influence the outcome of genetic association studies. Question, what are the implications of dominant negative mutation and linkage disequilibrium in genetic research? Answer, dominant negative mutation and linkage disequilibrium can have different implications in genetic research. Dominant negative mutation can be important to study as they can lead to disease or other negative effects. They can also be studied in the context of therapeutic targets and drug development. Linkage disequilibrium, on the other hand, can affect the ability of the population to adapt to changing environmental conditions and can also influence the outcome of genetic association studies. Understanding linkage disequilibrium can help to improve the design of genetic association studies and to interpret the results of these studies. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.